Sve sadu, sadu, sadu. So, dear Dhamma friends, there were two co-workers, two friends, used to work for the same company and uh, both of them got so tired out of their work and both of them every day complaining then they thought to to get out of the the job but then suddenly they heard there is an enlightened monk and uh, giving advice to people and but that advice is kind of like a puzzle so then this both uh, these two friends thought to go and visit this saint monk and they went to the temple and uh, pay their respect to the monk and told venerable sir we are so tired out of our work and uh, what kind of decision we took we should take so then the monk start to close his eyes and kind of like attain to the samadhi and that two of them looking at the face and waiting waiting for the answer what going to happen what is the answer going to come then the monk opened the eyes and told just one bowl of rice that's it and then they came just one bowl of rice and then they start to think about this what does this mean now they had a discussion what that monk told then they come they came to a, a idea oh that's mean one meal per day that's why we do this everything and uh, they both agree to that answer and then they separate and went to their homes and very next day one friend resigned the job and went to went to a village start to do farming then other person start to go to the same place and start to work so by the time the farmer start to do a lot of farming and became very famous in that area and he became very successful in that farming and uh, the co-worker and he start to do work and thinking about one bowl of rice per a day one meal per a day and keep her work hard keep work hard and by the time and he also became successful he got the promotions one by one one by one and he became the chairman of that company so after long time that both meet together again they both successful and then they start to us so are you also successful and you also successful and we both heard the same answer to our our question and but we took two different path and uh, the friend who became the boss in that company asked from other friend who became the farmer and asked why you became a farmer why you went out of the job and why you became a farmer so then he told i understood the answer that day one rice bowl for a day one meal for a day very easily 
I can manage myself. I knew that I have that capacity. But what's the point? For what? Then I understood there are a lot of people don't have that capacity. They don't have that ability. So then I thought if I become a farmer, I can provide one meal per a day for a lot of people, whoever that don't have that capacity. So that's why I became a farmer and then my business became so successful and I became a successful farmer. And also there are a lot of people gain out of my work. And then other person, then the farmer asked from the, the manager, why you stay and start to keep working and how you became successful? So then he told, I thought about my meal and I want to make it more secure and I want to know for sure it's going to be there for me. So I bought a house. I have all the facilities and everything, storeroom and the refrigerators and everything. I every day make sure I have a meal per day. So I became so focused to me. And then I became successful because I don't want to lose my meal and I work hard and as a result of that, I became successful. So then the both success. And then they had the question, who is right? Who's, which path is good? Then told, let's go back to that monk. And they went to the temple again and bowed the same way and uh, gave the answer. Venerable sir, after a long time ago that we came here and you gave the uh, uh, answer for our question and we took two different paths. So we have both went two different ways and why this? Why, why, what is the, the, the reason for this? So then the monk same like, you know, close the eyes and attend to the samadhi and wait a little bit and open the eyes and told, life is a matter of choice. So whatever the choice make you and that choice going to make who you are. So then always remember that from this point to tomorrow, day after tomorrow, next week, next year, and next life, eons by eons forward, enormous availability for you. But there is a choice you have to take. When you take that choice, if you become self-centered, just thinking about you, of course, there is a success. You can achieve to that. But there is a, another way that while you become successful, can you make another person successful? Can you give a help to another person to achieve to, to whatever the success that person looking for? That sharing and caring is, the, is a deeper foundation in Buddha's teaching. That's why it's called the community of the Sangha. When it comes to the community of the Sangha, it is not just only the monk. That whoever all the lay people around this, whoever follow the, the, the Buddha's teaching, whoever looking for truth, that person also included to the the community of Sangha. So then you are kind of like a brother and sister. And you have responsibility to get sharing and caring each other. What is that? The wisdom and abilities and capabilities, opportunities, these kind of things. That's why when it comes to the Buddha's teaching, 
that's mainly there is no jealousy there is no hatred valid in this teaching so then you always have to have empathy and the always you have to have the the kindness and willing to help others so it will transform you little by little little by little little by little because the very nature of us it always we like to hold claim clinging grasping this is the very nature of us so then walking in this path means you start to accumulate little by little little by little other side and cultivate yourself when it come to that this all happen out of the the ignorance so the ignorance means the self centered mind believing there is a self this is me i used to be be like that i i used to exist in the past and i exist in the moment and i going to be in the future so this happened because of the when this idea hold and grow inside you as a result of that what will happen the the desire arise so the desire and purpose two different things so as the siddhartha and the, so bodhisattva he had the desire to attain to enlightenment all the enlightened masters in the sansaric journey they had the desire to attain to enlightenment that's a, the higher purpose based desire to become better become purified that also kind of like a desire but there is a, another way of desire that desire is find the self satisfaction so you have to transform that self centered desire to the higher purpose achievement of the desire the purpose based desire so when it come to that that in the beginning you have to understand the very nature of this self centered desire because of that this everything can change so see that how the two different mentality the, the same answer same question same lifestyle same struggle had the, both co-workers and the same answer use how they used it so one became a farmer and start to do the farming and provide the necessary facilities to lot of people and another person went and start to find the security himself and develop his own life you can have this anything in your life you have to look as a husband wife children friends and family members so you have, you you have a position you can be in that position and you can secure that position you can maintain that position with the self centered idea and at the same time you can use that position as a opportunity to give a service to others help for others and becoming yourself a better person and re reach to a higher opportunity or the reach to a higher purpose so you use the the opportunity that whatever you have to become a better person transform yourself so that is what the the buddha try to teach us when it come to the buddhism it is not rejecting something because whatever you select if you the 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 idea the main purpose that whatever you hold with any that whatever you grasping it has the same energy but according to the the desire chetana ham bikave khamang mada but according to the the desire it going to give the different result so then you have to remember the very nature of the this self centered desire it is very strong you can you cannot believe how strong it is it can it kind of like a unseen dragon it can appear from any direction so 
It, it like this, there are few examples in Dharma. It's like a dog when eat a bone without any flesh in that bone, when the dog eating it, eating it, what happening? The dog mouth get damaged and the blood start to come. So the dog start to taste the, the blood and the dog believe Oh, this bone is so good. And believing that the bone has the giving the blood and it feeding to dog and keep biting, biting, biting. And if anybody come and you, you know how the dogs, you know, when, when somebody come closer, when they eat, it doesn't matter. You are the, you are the master or anybody, even the other dogs. You have seen how the dog react. Ah, ah like that you know so the, the, from where it come you know protecting for the meal look at the people sometimes when they come to self-centered idea they kind of like the, the, the dog hold it to that bond no one can come closer to them they want to find their security and they will do anything to protect themselves no matter what they will do anything to, to find the hold and secure their desire. You also the same. So that's why you have to understand it. So the next one, that it's like a dream. The desire is self-centered desire is like a dream. And look at people. Some people addicted to dreams. It's a, they kind of like they sleep to, to see dreams. And even at, at, you know, sleep, when they sleep, when they see any dreams in the very next day, they feel so energized. Oh, I saw a dream. And then they go to next day to continue that dream or thinking that uh, they're going to see more and more and more. And then sometimes in the daytime, they, wish, they, they think, they imagine something. And that imagination go deeper to their subconscious mind. And then when they go, go and sleep, what's happening? It awake. And then they see the dream. And when they see the dream, what happened next day? They come to idea, self-centered idea. They prove it. Oh, what I thought is right. Why? Because I saw it in dreams. See that they, they, are, they see their own mind and but they caught up thinking it is a kind of like a truth. And they have kind of like a wisdom to think about. It. And may, when, when they have kind of like a doubt regarding something or somebody, and they always, you know, in their head, it's the it's keep going, keep going, keep going. And then with that, when they go to sleep, what happening? They see dreams. And then in the very next day, the doubt that they had, they hold as truth. See how people going in wrong way? So the desire, our desire also the same. That's why it's called Nate Kama Yani Chitrani Loki. That whatever this outside world, there is no beauty or there is no ugliness. If there is something beauty in outside, everybody should agree to that. That as you know, there is no something. People, 10 people have different 10 ideas. Why? Because that beauty is coming from their own inner self experience according to their history and according to their mental formations, not because of the outside. So like that, that what we experience most of the world, of course, there is, there is a reality, there is something exist that in the world, otherwise why the, why the Buddha need to come and otherwise why we need to practice the Dharma, if there is nothing, of course, there are things exist. But and the deeply, more than the existence, we don't see that existence. That is the point you have to understand. 
of course there are problems of course there are things in the world the but the thing is mostly we don't see it what we see we see reflection of our own mind so then the, through the practice what we does we break it down and we start to access to the true nature of the the real existence so that is what the 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 ultimately try to bring as a result in this vipassana meditation buddha never told there is nothing but there is something but to get into that first you have to get out of this dream and then you will experience that whatever this in this world it always changing 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 this is that is a different understanding and another thing is when it come to the desire it's kind of like a dream uh, the the mirage you see it it, it is visible but still you will never catch it whatever you reach it again and again and again you it will take you to another place another place another place so like that whatever you feed to your eye ear nose tongue body mind with the self centered desire whatever you intake it will never going to say this is enough for me it always they will take you to another place but if you give something from your hand if you provide something from yourself with the clear intention to somebody and that whatever you gave have an enormous power to bring the satisfaction to you so that's why the generosity generosity is different than you know the word dana is a it's a more strong and it has a more deeper meaning than the generosity so when it come to the dana it always open your heart to a bigger space opportunity and it's kind of like a package so the dana it's a giving because you have the basic understanding whatever you are bodily verbally mentally action that you perform it brings the the result so you know that principle with that principle you do things not the self centered mind a lot of there are a lot of programs and as you know in the world there there are a lot of generous things people do with the self centered mind see it is different but the dana is totally different and the dana is totally with the clear understanding that what we do whatever we do and have the feedback so once you have that knowledge what is happening you become very clear with your eye ear nose tongue body mind why because you know out of your bodily verbally mentally action whatever you perform it going to bring something back so then you naturally you become discipline person so naturally you start to guide you why because you don't want to get anything bad that you don't want so then you become very capable always you do the good things and that discipline slowly start to take you to the clarity once you have that clarity what is happening you very clearly recognize this body then you connected to the the vipassana contemplating the body very easily you recognize when you see this body what you going to recognize you not going to see the body there is nothing something called so fundamentally there is no body of course it's a, it's appear like this way but if you as you know scientifically it is proved this everything is empty so but when you start to observe this body what you going to see when you start to observe the body you going to see the feelings when there is no feeling no body so 
once you start to find the feelings and you observe the feelings and then you're going to see underneath that feelings there is no such a thing called feeling underneath that feeling there is mind see how the when you have the clarity how we take you step by step when you observe the mind you recognize that all the each and every thought happening according to necessary condition and environment it because the mind is not a kind of like a solid hard thing exist permanently it happening that experience come to you as a result of the the moment of experience and 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 extra your past experience based with that so but you cannot get it when you are when you are depend on the self centered idea so the mirage is kind of like when you keep running through with the satisfaction keep running with the satisfaction and you always try to maintain 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 of course you will have a life for a moment you will enjoy it but in the underneath deeply you are in the current you cannot escape from becoming you cannot escape from the change you cannot escape from death you cannot escape from the sickness so that is the real problem that we have so then when the buddha deeply observe understood that our mind is like a dog eating our own inner desire thinking this born or the, our desire bringing us satisfaction when the mind change everything change not the outside see that uh, sometimes people get married and then when the mind change they divorce and you claim this is me this is my this is my like when the mind change everything change nothing can challenge in this universe for your mind so then why you need knowingly this all dharma is telling us this so now you know the lesson knowingly this why you go always in this path why you go with that struggle then why you clinging to that suddenly overnight when you wake up tomorrow you you cannot get out of it but in the beginning reflect on yourself reflect again and again listen this very carefully this is the dharma that what the buddha taught and because you have all the capacity to understand this you are capable to attain to enlightenment before you die why i say that because the very danger of the the desire the lust is this there are five actions if you done this there is no way you can attain to enlightenment according to the theravada the buddhism and they it will happen but it will it will take eons by eons to clean that all the the karma clean up the karma so what are those dark karmas that can happen killing your mother and killing your father killing an enlightened monk and physically if you disturb to buddha and other one is that uh, dividing the the community of sangha that dividing the sangha means not uh, starting different school no with the the deeply with the fundamental ideas you come with the different ideas and you divide the the community of the sangha so those are the five things that if you have if you done that there's no way in this very life you can attain to enlightenment it will take a long time to to clear this but you are so fortunate why because you are here today still it didn't happen from you but how you know tomorrow what kind of situations come to us and what will happen out of our life we have no idea how it going to change we don't know so then maybe this life you will be okay how you know the next life wherever you born very 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 next life maybe 
you come to a place you come to a situation unknowingly maybe and the you caught up in a situation you will do something so that is the very danger of the desire that is why the 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 discipline help you to protect from this and once you once you understand this danger there are a lot of things can little by little take because the the desire self centered desire the last is like a package it not come alone once it entered it is start to bring their friends so it like that so then remember you are so fortunate why because it didn't happen from you yet but no one can guarantee regarding tomorrow or your next life so before it happen before you are last whatever that you are desire you are like i like this i like this you keep feeding 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 and how you know it will, where I, where it will take you you can do a test whatever you like whatever if you drink smoke or do whatever the things you do and think yourself for 24 hour hold it don't do it don't do it it doesn't matter whatever the things you eat and uh, or maybe you cup of coffee very simple you you need it but tomorrow you start you think i'm not going to do this and you going to test and see what this is if the cup of coffee is powerful or your 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 intention is powerful just think or maybe whatever the the food you keep eating every day and you think i'm not going to do this try for 24 hours while you driving you know there's somebody calling you give a challenge yourself until you come to a point to stop your vehicle you're not going to answer the phone if you cannot do this enlightenment is far far away forget about that no it's far away you think no until i come to a point to stop my vehicle i'm not going to answer this that's it it is more you're not going to addict to that while you driving you want to text you don't do that you you challenge yourself and see how the desire is the stronger or your intention decision going to be the stronger you you think when you go to sleep you turn off the the tv you don't go with the the music so like that desire maybe some people so craving to see some people so craving to hear some people so craving to aroma without that they go crazy some people so craving to eating always everywhere nuts 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 not cookies not the fruits everything uh, 24 hour and some people addicted to associate somebody need to touch otherwise if somebody don't touch them somebody not around them themselves they touch like this or like that they need that they addicted you are in the current or maybe in the la la land you know mentally always dreaming 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 you caught up in that so you can get out of it get out of it why because you have no idea where it will take you tomorrow so to get out of that come to a point just practice 24 hours you think in this 24 hour i am not going to do this if i am drinking it's okay you have done it you know maybe you do it tomorrow but you do you come to a 24 hour you think i am not going if you can do that you good you good if you can hold in whatever the time you de decide and if you can not to do it you good have be happy about it but if you cannot do it you have to think again and again and again and you are in a serious danger be careful so with that i bless upon with this all the good practice may all of you be well happy and peaceful 
may no harm come to you, may no difficulties come to you, may no problems come to you. May you also have the patience, courage, understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life. During this time period, may everyone stay healthy and safe. And finally, may all of you attain supreme bliss of Nibbana. Sabbhityo vajjantu sabbaro go vinasatu mate bhavatantarayo suki digayuko bhava ittavata cha mehi sampadang punya sampadang sabbe deva numodantu sabba sampati siddhya sabbe bhuta numodantu sabba sampati siddhya sabbe sapta numodantu Sabh Sampati Siddhya Idam Me Punya Kammanga Asavakaya Vanhotu Sabh Dukkha Pamunchatu Bless.